Have a whole mess of email subscribers in your ConvertKit account that don't have a first name? Well, in this video, you'll learn how to get that first name so that you can engage them even more. I'm Jason from NurtureKit, NurtureKit.co, and if you are using ConvertKit, you already understand the power of personalization and personalization inside of email. Uh, look, I am always the person that is going to say that personalization goes above and beyond the first name. But if you aren't at least even get engaging them at the first name level with a simple salutation, well, how effective or how engaging is that subscriber going to be when they read your emails? So people are super responsive when they see their, their name. I mean, it's plain and simple. I mean, even if they know that it is an automated message, they still will stop and pay attention to you uh, even more if you call them by their first name. So you can use their first name in a subject line. You can use it in preview text, which you know I'll describe in a different video, but it catches their eye. So most ConvertKit forms actually do include the first name at, by default. However, maybe you removed it for whatever reason, design purposes and so on. Or you are using an integration that doesn't collect the name and it just collects the email address. So now you're left with a percentage of subscribers on your list without the first name. Well, let's dive in and start to ask people for this for this information and save it on their subscriber record. Now this is inspired by a couple of people that I read emails from, uh, specifically Jay Klaus, who has an amazing newsletter and certainly go ahead and check that out. I'll link that newsletter up in the, the uh, description below. But he asks right in the PS and you can ask this in a number of different ways. You can embed it inside of your template. That's so that any email that you send, that person will then go ahead and get that notification, so to speak, to fill in their name. However, what we're going to do is put it in a broadcast, basically the code that you would need, okay? So why don't we dive in to ConvertKit and, and get going here. So as I said, what we're going to do here is, is we're only going to ask people that don't have their first name to actually fill in their first name. So let's, I just have this broadcast here. Um, and so I'm just gonna walk you through and I will put this in the description below so you can grab it. Um, what you want to do is essentially detect if their first name field is blank. And that's what this little bit of code here does. Now this is called liquid templating or liquid code. And this is the foundation at which ConvertKit's emails render content. Um, if you don't, or better said, it allows you to control what content gets displayed. So we're saying here is if you don't have a first name, then display this, which is please update your first name so that we can be friends. Else, so glad we're friends, so-and-so, right? Their first name, okay? So we're just giving an if-then statement based around content okay then the the crux of this is this link here now this link links out to a convert kit uh, special uh a special page if you will right what it is is it links them to their subscriber preferences and on that subscriber preferences page they're actually going to get a form field for their first name and their email. So this will is also liquid code, but instead of a plain URL that you're going to put in here, you're going to put this in here so that when it lands in their inbox, they click on this link, it goes to that subscriber page and automatically gets added to their subscriber record. So I'm gonna show you what this looks like, right? So in preview, if you preview it, right inside a convert kit, it's always going to take the fallback, which is in this case, the else, but we can preview it as a subscriber. So this email address does not have a first name. So we could see what this looks like. Hi, and you could see that the name up here, which is the salutation of this 
broadcast, please update your first name so we can be friends. Now, if I close this out again, you'll see the fallback is hi, first name. So glad we're friends, first name. And just so that we're thorough here, I'm going to bring in my own email address here, which then you can see, hi, Jason. So glad we're friends, Jason. Okay, so you can see that it gets filled in. Now, it's really as simple as that. You can now address just with this little bit of code, you can gather up all of the first names of your subscribers um, and be able to engage them more personally through your emails. And don't be afraid to inject any personality into your, your emails too. I mean, I, I, I like to do that from time to time to just show that I'm a human, right? So please update your first name so we can be friends. Well, I don't have a friend where I don't know their name. Right. And so that's a nice way in which you can do that. I hope this was helpful. So hit that subscribe button and that bell icon so that you get notified the next time a brand new video drops. And if you treat your lists like humans, amazing transformations will happen.